boxing truth here. Just an immediate reaction, some post-fight thoughts to the the last quarterfinal matchup in the World Boxing Super Series between Rob Brandt and Jurgen Bremer. It was a minor upset that just occurred in Germany. Rob Brandt was a slight favorite going into the fight. A lot of people were riding with Rob Brandt, top contender in the middleweight division. Took a chance to move up to the super super middleweight tournament, and he ended up having to fight the biggest guy in the tournament. And it was pretty evident in the fight. Brammer was not only the he was he looked a lot bigger, much a little stronger, but he not only was he bigger, he was he was better. He was a better fighter as well. He was not only bigger, but he was better as well. He gave Rob Brandt a boxing lesson, scolded him, embarrassed him, dominated him. It was pretty. A pretty wide, clear, unanimous decision. I'm not even sure if Rob Brandt won any rounds. It, it just seemed to me that Brammer won almost all of them. Throughout the fight, all you saw was Brammer pop, snap uh, Brandt's head back throughout the whole fight. And you saw Brandt do a lot of missing. It was an impressive performance by Brammer. I was impressed. He boxed very well. He, he showed his class. It was a world-class performance. And uh, it's unfortunate for Brandt. He took a chance, moved up, took on the biggest guy in the, in the, the in the tournament, and he was fighting a light heavyweight, but not just an, an average light heavyweight. He was fighting a world-class light heavyweight. Even though Bremer is 39 years old, he's still considered a top 10, top 15 light heavyweight, and he moved down to super middleweight. He was the underdog for many reasons, coming off an L, going down in weight, 39 years old, fighting an up-and-coming guy, but a smaller guy, but an undefeated guy in Rob Brandt. And Brandt, it was just too much, too big, too experienced, too good. Brammer gave him a lesson in distance, kept countering him with left hands, straight left hands after the many right hands, straight right hands that Brandt missed throughout the whole fight. He really couldn't touch Brammer. The jab was not effective. Couldn't really bring out an extra gear. Didn't show much vers versatility offensively. Brammer just, as the rounds went on, he just, his confidence grew. Started getting very comfortable. And by, you could see it as early as the third or fourth round that you saw that Brandt was going to lose the fight. He just couldn't adjust. Couldn't make any, any big necessary adjustments. No big statements. Couldn't land on Brammer very clean. Brammer would... Bounce on his toes, looking all good, confident and shit. And he was starting to disrespect Brent as the fight wore on. Hands low, down to his waist. Kept slipping and dodging punches with counter. Step back counters. Nice setup jabs, straight left hands. He did everything, man. He, he boxed beautifully. For a 39-year-old guy moving down in weight, it was pretty damn good. Brent, he uh, was humbled tonight. Got a lesson. But he should learn from this, and uh, he should learn that maybe he's just not a super middleweight. He should move back down. He looked like a middleweight in that ring, looked much smaller, and not only that, just wasn't in the class of Jurgen Brammer. But great victory for Brammer. Upset the odds. Minor upset. He moves on to the semifinals to fight Callum Smith. And what will be an interesting fight, Brammer, he's not a bad fighter. Was impressive proved a lot of people wrong and uh, gave major L's to a lot of people that put money on Brent. Should I even consider putting money on Brent? I thought it was a safe bet, especially when Brent originally was the underdog, but I'm glad I didn't put no money in this fight. No wager whatsoever. It was uh, end up being the right move. Was thinking if I was going to miss out on this, but luckily I didn't miss out on shit. Brent just got schooled by a 39-year-old fighter, but a good one, a very experienced one, pretty skilled too, and uh, congratulations to Bremer on the victory, looking forward to the semifinals early next year, let's see how this tournament pans out, and for Rob Brent, back to the drawing board, back to the middleweight division, try to get a a title shot uh, within the one of the sanctioning bodies belts but he's he definitely needs to move back to some middleweight let me know what y'all think about the fight your thoughts were you surprised by the result what do you think of Brammer this is boxing truth I'm out